Hey there, folks. Hong Kong here, back with the uh, beginning of Block 1 of our Let's Play of uh, Super Me or not Super Metroid, damn it, Metroid Prime 1, and uh, I've got a few things to show off, and hey, did you notice I didn't do the Let's Go thing, or here we go, wait, here we go, yeah, I'll do it, like, before I, whoops, oh, good grief, ow, oh yeah, by the way, you go into sh your ship, it'll save, uh, replenish your energy, ammunition, yay. Um, I didn't do the, the here we go thing because I'm doing it at the beginning of each video, and as soon as I do it, I leave a couple seconds, and then I, I be actually begin the video, and um, yeah, excuse me, I'm sorry. So yeah, a few things to show off here. Uh, some I uh, should have shown off some of them while I was on the frigate, but whatever. Um, it was shown it before. Hang on. Okay, first of all, the rain, you see that? It's kind of like splashing on the gun and then, you know, splashing off in other directions. And that's kind of cool. This game was ahead of its time in, in some uh, some aspects. You know, uh, certain folks who can't appreciate uh, old games like this will say it looks like shit compared to... Like, oh, I don't know. Just because I always use it as an example. It looks like shit compared to Modern Warfare or, or Call of Duty in general. Blah, 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 blah. Well... Sorry, this game was made in, what, two, 2002, 2003, something like that? Anyway, it's, uh, well, at least by today's standards, it's old. Um, so yeah, just, it, it was a heaven's time, it looked great back then. I still think it looks good. And maybe I just don't have high, very high standards, but yeah. Oh, by the way, you can breathe underwater. I can stand under here for like five hours. I'm not going to do anything. Look, fishies! Pew, 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 See, they run all over the place. That's kind of cool. Um... Oh, watch when you come out of the water. Watch the visor. Did you see that? It's kind of hard to see because my video quality is ass. Let me do it again. Water runs down the visor. Tell me that's not kind of cool. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Uh, oh, this is kind of a dark spot. Okay, watch the gun. Okay, I'm going to fire as quickly as I can. There, you see that? Did you see the smoke coming out of the barrel? Or vapor, I don't know what it is with, with uh, energy weapons, plasma weapons, uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, that, that's another cool thing. Uh, look up, oh hey, the rain is splashing on your visor, that's kind of cool. I mean, it, that, that's that's in a lot of games though, really, to be fair. Um, you see a lot of games where like rain splashes in your eyes or whatever. But I don't know, I think it looks cooler on the visor. It looks like it's like... I don't know, it... It almost seems to have, like, a sort of 3D effect. I know it's not 3D. D don't leave any comments saying I'm an idiot, because I know it's not. But it just... I don't know, it kind of feels like it's actually hitting the visor. Instead of, like, you know, just... I don't know. Maybe that's not making any sense. Anyway, I'm not going to really dick around. Like, I don't know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. So, let's just get this over with. So I can get back to... the To where I was before. And, uh... Oh my god, surprise! Oh, well, uh, you can skip. Uh, next time I come across a monster, I'll do it. Um, I at least half remember where I'm supposed to go. The problem is, I don't know if I'm going to remember where all of, like, the loot is. Like, uh, energy tanks. Um, there's one thing in particular that you don't have to get, I don't think, and it's the charge beam. I don't think you have to get it. Because it's, uh, it's not along any path that you have to take, I don't think. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me, please. I don't know if you have to have the charge beam to beat the game. Anyway, uh, yeah, we just scanned this beast here. We'll see what it's got to say. It's called the Zoomer. It anchors itself up the walls. Yeah, we've seen this in all the other Metroids before. And, uh... Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's been in every other Metroid game. Um, oh, did you see that the kind of misting effect? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Hey, oh, this little asshole here is a impervious uh, plasma fire or whatever, or energy fire. We would need m missiles to kill it, but we're not going to worry about it. Nothing up there for now. Uh, die. Die. Uh, that's another thing. As much as I love the Prime series, I do miss, like, the old-style format of Metroid, which is basically, or, uh, it's, it's the same form. Like that was in the Super Metroid, 
and what portable Castlevanias are using these days, which uh, I personally like. Like, I know some folks prefer the old school Castlevanias that were just insanely hard, but I kind of like the whole Metroid style approach where you can only go to certain areas and then you kill some stuff, you grab an item or whatever, so you can go somewhere else. I, I kind of like it, the whole leveling up thing. It'd be kind of cool if you if they made another Metroid game like the old style and had like a level up system or something like that, but eh, whatever. These games are amazing. Uh, I haven't beat any of the Metroid Primes actually because, uh, oh, oh yeah, um, every now and then uh, it'll give you an idea on where to go, which is particularly handy if you've put down the game for a while and you just forget where to go. Uh, you could just look at your map and look for anywhere that's marked with a question mark. But, like, randomly, it'll, like, just tell you stuff. So, that's that's handy. But, um, yeah, like I said before, I've never beaten Prime 1 for reasons I've already explained. Uh, Prime 2... I forget why I didn't beat that. I think I just got stuck at one point because I couldn't figure out where to go. By the way, that's another awesome game, and I'm probably going to do that one, too, down the road. Uh, Corruption, which is... I, th I think I was... It was called Corruption, which is Prime 3. Um, I only played it for a little bit, to be honest. I was so excited when it came out. When I bought it and I started playing, I was like, this doesn't feel right with the Wii. I mean, it, it controls well enough, but I mean, eh. As much as I love the Wii, the motion control is cool, but I don't like it being forced on me. I like, it's like what they're doing with the, the, the 3DS, or at least how they've compensated for it. For a lot of people, including myself, the 3D hurts my eyes. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Oh, hey, look. Energy tank up there. And we'll get to that eventually. Um, we actually circled around at one point, I believe. Um, I say what you want about the 3D. It failed launch and everything. At least it doesn't force you to use the 3D. It's the whole point of the system, but it's got some cool games for it, but I don't really want to use the 3D. At least not that much. So it's nice that you can actually like turn it down so that it's actually uh, back to being 2D. Whoops. Well, I almost got. Well, I wouldn't have got sliced in half. Yeah. And you can get there. These don't stay close for very long, so you gotta kind of move it. Yeah. But I, you know, I never actually checked on corruption to see if there was. A, oh, these are chosen lore, by the way. Uh, you see, like, the little shimmering image or whatever. I'll take a few seconds to let you guys read it. If you need more time, um, I'll pause it. It's just... We're doing it Resident Evil style here. Yeah. Oh, hey, safe station. Where's that? That's, uh, hey, that's right above me. Yeah, fancy that. I really shouldn't save, because if, if another video messes up, but then again, I don't want to take any chances. Ah, damn it. Phone went off. I really should silence that thing when I'm, uh, when I'm, uh, recording. But, um, I never checked to see on Corruption if there was a way to turn off, uh, or make it so that you can play with the GameCube controller. If that could be done, I'll probably, uh, do an LP of it, too, eventually. I'm not gonna do it in order like I originally playing for the Resident Evil games because that just really burned me out. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to stay away from games, or doing some games at least in order. Well, I'll do them in... I might do, always do them in order, but I don't know if I'll do them, like, um, consecutively. Like, say, I'm not going to do... I'm not going to play, like, uh... Well, even though I'm obviously playing... Prime 1 first. Let's say I wouldn't play Prime 2 and then Prime 3 and then play Prime 1. No, I would play 1, 2, and 3, of course, but I might not do an LP of all three of them back to back to back. I might do, uh, as an example of the game I want to do in the future, I might do, say, Prime 1 and then uh, Shining Force 1. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, who knows? I may, I may feel froggy and uh, go ahead and do it anyway. And, oh, uh, 
missile door. Not sure how to open something. Scan it. Uh, I didn't actually read the missile part, but yeah, I, I know already. Um, but yeah, a little small for the future. I am going to do uh, Shining Force 1 and 2. Those two will probably do back to back. Probably. Uh, but we'll see. It, it really just depends on what mood I'm in. Because if I learn anything from Resident Evil, like I just said, really, um, doing so many games in a series back to back to back, it kind of makes it feel, well, old, really. Uh, oh. Okay, this is the. Wait a minute, what's that over yonder? Oh! Wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't couldn't scan it yet. But yeah, that's uh, our missile upgrade. Well, not really an upgrade, but it's our missile attachment, so we can start lobbing missiles. But uh, first, we gotta deal with some jagoffs here. Uh, freaking war wasps. I hate the freaking war wasps. Ow. Burned my ass. Oh, we got stomp. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to stay away from back to back unless it's something I'm really looking forward to playing, like I am with uh, the Shining Force games. In fact, uh, uh, the current plan right now, I always say I have a current plan, like I said, hey, uh, at the end of a. Uh, my Resident Evil 2 videos, I'm like, hey, see you for Nemesis. And then, uh, did I play Nemesis? Well, technically I didn't. I even recorded like an hour and a half of it. But, um, yeah, I'm not posting. I don't feel like doing the rest of it, so I'll do it eventually. I have, I have, uh, the first hour and a half saved, so I can always pick up from there. But I think I might just start over again. I'm not sure. The whole, uh, series back-to-back-to-back thing really ruined I think how I learned my lesson more than anything is because I love Nemesis the most of all the Resident Evils, and I just couldn't enjoy it just because I was I was so damn tired of Resident Evil. I mean, I had done Zero, I had done uh, One on Chris, who I didn't want to play it as, but I figured, what the hell, I'll do something different. And then I did uh, Two, not once, but twice, and uh, Claire A, Leon B, and... Uh, yeah. And then I did EX Bow, which, uh, as you know by this point, turned out horribly. I could have easily just gone back and redone it, but, uh, I, I was really tired of Resident Evil at that point. So I forced Nemesis, or forced myself to do Nemesis, and, uh, um, when you're not enjoying the game, unless, unless you're playing a game for comedy's sake, like, you're playing some game that you absolutely hate or you think is absolutely bad or whatever, you're doing it for comedy's sake so people can see your stupid war wasp. Right, thank you, Master. If you're doing it for comedy's sake, that's one thing, but I mean, a game that I love and I can't actually enjoy it just because I'm so damn tired of the series, not worth doing. I'd rather do Nemesis when I'm, uh, when I'm ready to go, when I want to play Resident Evil. Yeah. Oh, and that... Also, if you want to get another tip, if you want to get 101% or whatever, make sure you scan all your pickups before you actually pick them up, like that missile launcher there. I didn't scan it because I don't care, but, uh, yeah. Uh, a fiasco I dealt with, uh, ooh, energy tank. I forgot that one was there. I thought something else was in here. Uh, oh, uh, morph ball. We don't have it. We'll come back some other time. I forget what's over there, but, yeah. So now we have doubled our health, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, I'll go, back to re I'll go back to Nemesis when I'm damn well ready. No sense of doing an LP if you're not going to have fun with it, unless it's for... Well, if you're doing it for comedy's sake, it's still for fun. I mean, what's the point of comedy if you're not going to have fun, right? <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, what, you know what's com not comical right now? Having to do, redo this over again. But, um, 
At least I'm making decent time. Uh, in a perfect world, I'd love to be able to end this block at the beginning of Fendron and Drifts. And as long as I don't dick around too much, I should be able to do it. I kind of remember what I'm supposed to do. kind of don't. Come on, open. Ow. Map, yay. I need to open my drink, pardon me. Lemon Lime Knockoff Brand Crystal Light. Looks like piss. Tastes wonderful. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the save station and, um... Actually, where do we go next? Hang on. Uh, this might be a little difficult to control until you get used to it. Mm -mm. Um. Oh, there was a there was a blast door over there. That's right. Okie dokie. Okay, so jump up. Okay, ignore the bad guys. Uh, there was a fiasco I ran into last time during my recording. There was a. Uh, I needed to open two blast doors. I was out of missiles, so I'm like, okay, I'll go, uh, I'll go farm some stuff, you know, refill my missiles. No joke, I went 30 minutes of killing, through, uh, 30 minutes of killing shit, didn't get a single damn missile pickup, and it was just me, just writhing in agony, just bitching about anything and everything, because I could not find these damn missiles. And then, um... Like, after 30 minutes of this on camera, I'm like, you know what, screw this. I'll do this off camera. If I have to, I'll go back to the ship, blah, blah, blah. And no sooner did I turn the damn recording off, I found the damn missiles. So, you know, go figure. Uh, so, uh, that would have been fun. You know what? Uh, well, no, I, I erased the video right. Never mind. I was going to say, it wouldn't have any audio. Well, I mean, game audio anyway. But I could have, uh... Recorded, uh, wait, can I blow these up with the missiles? I don't know why I did that, because I know I'm going to regret wasting that damn missile. Because I never get any damn pickups. Um, but yeah, it would have made for a nice bonus video later. Wish I would have saved it, but oh, well, whatever. And now that kind of hurt. Oh, hello. You guys got missiles? Get any missiles. I think for a while I was using missiles on anything and everything that moves. Cause I figured, eh, missile pickups are everywhere. No, I have no problem getting that back. Whoa! I forgot about that. Oh, fun fact: if you're not locked on anything, you can just hold left trigger and you can strafe. Fun, huh? I've been locked on long enough. Let's use, uh, let's use the old manual aim for a little bit. Ah, kaboom! That's something I can scan. Oh. How about that? I don't know why I carried it. Whoa! Give me missiles! No missiles. Lots of energy. Take that. For now. Two missiles! One for each of you. Coming up from the area where I needed the damn. Ah! Morph ball! Dead ahead! Uh, but no, we have to be stopped by some dickweeds. Die, die! Die, 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 die. Manual aim, go! Oh, it sounds like this is coming up with color, too nice. But I've, I've never also been big on turbo controllers. So, instead of uh, getting a turbo controller, I just, uh, I've got an amazing thumb, what can I say? I can turn a semi-auto auto weapon into a fully automatic weapon, look at this, this is just a barrage of death. Oh, this guy, almost all my health back. Now, this guy can be a prick. He's not hard, he's just annoying. Sometimes it's hard to get in a good position to hit him because, of course, you can probably figure out where you have to shoot him. And I'll give you two guesses, and um, it's not the face. <laughs> Shoot him 
the ass. That's right. Come on, charge at me. Come on. Come on, you dickweed. Yeah, die! See, Josh just to bounce off his face. Don't you wish he had a, f a face that could just make bullets bounce? Energy and otherwise. Charge, you pecker. You're annoying enough to kill. Make my life a little easier. There we go. Man, just stay still. And, uh, yeah, you're dead. Go to hell. Hooray. I think there's become, like, semi-regular enemies. Well, at least, like, you know, like, one will pop up every now and then. That sort of thing. Yay! See, like, just disappear into a freaking pocket dimension. Inside this... space-age metal container ball thing. Yay, we have the morph ball. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can... Oh, um, there's a ramp here, we'll come back to it later, we need, uh, we need to get a nice boost of speed, but we can't, because we need, uh, what was it called, boost ball, yeah, there we go, thank you, if you try to do something for too long, uh, sometimes it'll pop up and say, hey, you can't do that, you need blah blah blah, to do it. like, oh, why, thank you, random hit system, um, Next. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's, let's go back to where we got the missiles. I think. Ow. Bricks. Because I think that's how we can get that energy tank. I forget if we went right or left to get it, like, as in up there. If we can reach it. Or something up there. Is that a missile thing? I didn't see that before. How do I get to it? Uh, wait a minute. Hang on. Uh, there we go. That's a missile tank up great all right. Whatever. Very smooth incline, just slow. Uh, oh! We did it with just a normal ball? No, we need the... We need the, the speed ball. This ball, whatever. Pew, pew, pew. Die, 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 die. Ow. Prick. Prick, I should say. I'm sorry. I thought this is where I could, uh, just kind of morph ball through. Oh, elite dodging skills! Go! Yeah, I'm done fighting you. Yep. Yep. No point in fighting you. I've got four missiles. I'm only missing three health. Screw you. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I'm missing two more health. Oh my god. Jump. Job, I'm not fighting you war wasps. Get away from me. You can blow up their hives with missiles, by the way. I don't, I don't care to. No point. They eventually gr uh, grow back, but it takes a little while. Hit. Wow. Uh, if you couldn't tell, those are light sources. It's kind of like those ones that I kept blowing up in uh, Super Metroid. So sometimes you don't have to worry about killing them. Other times, um, it's in your best interest to keep them alive. So yeah. Morph ball go. Oh for fuck's sake. I would do it in the middle of a damn pit. Whoa, hello. Ow, ow, ow. Wait a minute. This isn't uh wait a minute, this is uh, hmm. Okay, where's this leading in? Oh, this leads to, uh, bombs, I think. Okay, let's take a look at this. Whoa, not in the middle of it. No. For a reason you'll see in a second. 
Magmore Caverns. We don't want to go down there because it's too damn hot. We need the and yeah, I'm not joking. It's too hot down there. We need the variable or variable, various suit in order to get past. Okay, uh, what's that strange-looking rail thing over there? Well, let me kill a few of these peckers first. I'll, uh, I'll explain. Okay, this here is a magnetic rail. If you have the spider ball, you can cling to this thing, and you can ride it all, well, hang on, all the way up. Uh, hey, something's, something's a miss. Oh, well. I'll worry about it later. Oh, show that lore. I'll at least try to get all these, just because I know I've scanned it once it's, uh, lose its shimmeriness. Shimmery, yeah, whatever. You get the idea. <laughs> and stuff. Yay, let's get Was there another one on the side? No. Good, I don't want to read it Okay, now let's go uh, this way. They went that way. Um. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, for son of a... Mm. For son of a... Really? I'm about to say... Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Very much. No! Oh, my God. Morph ball fail. Uh, I am a champion at this game. Yes, sir. The best there is, the best there ever was. The best there ever will be, for that matter. Uh, wait a minute, where is that? Oh. Yeah, it's just beyond here. Missile tank, I don't know how to get to it. I forget. Something about locks. Hey, oh, go to the lore. There you go, there you go. Whoopsie, sorry. Actually, let go of the trigger. I'm grab a drink, and I will now. I have my hand bent in a fashion that uh, is not particularly comfortable, but it gets the job done so you guys can read this. Ah! That's good piss-colored drink. Um, oh yeah. Something is blocking the way. I forget wait, how you blow it up. Something is blocking the way. I forget wait, how you blow it up. Something is. Not blo blocking the way. I forget what the key slot is, so whatever. I thought there was a chozo lore on that side. Uh, I hate the damn brightness on here. You can't see dick. I mean, it's, it, it's still kind of dark anyway, but I mean, just recording, you can't see anything. I mean, I know part of it is just because I've got such a small screen, it's in, you know, recording mode and whatnot. But, the worst part is I don't know how to fix it. Um, if you guys can suggest a good and free um, recording software that I can use, nothing illegal, I don't want any fucking pirate shit or whatever. I want something free like Virtual Dub. It's free to distribute, blah, blah, blah. Something that works. And, uh, yeah, and, oh, that was our energy tank, so, uh, now I know where I can go next. Or where I should go next, I should say. Ow! I broke my leg. Um. That's how you do that. How do I get up? Oh, that's right, I gotta go up that, that way. Next, we go this way. Zip up. Yeah, anything... If any suggestions would help, I'll give anything a try. I'd appreciate it. If if I find something I really like, uh, as a thank you, I'll, maybe I'll do an LP for the person that finds me. Something I really like. So, yeah. As long as it's not ridiculously long, like, I'm not going to do, like, I don't want somebody requesting, like, Oblivion or something like that. Which I may do someday, by the way, but I mean, I don't want to do it as a request. I prefer something a little... Shorter? I don't know, but, you know. 
they don't make that sort of contest. Somebody that can find me something that really works well. I'll do a requested LP. Yeah. I can't guarantee it'll be an amazing quality, but, uh, you know. 